Hello there, I'm John Mendez and this is the next in our how-to series and we're looking at leaving a berth on a windy day when you're being blown off the berth. So again, we're back in our little marina scenario. This is a dead end, we've got to leave in this direction. And here's our wind arrow and the wind is blowing us off these two berths here. So when we're sat on the berths, either here or here, we have the issue where the lines will be quite taut and the boat will be being physically held away from the pontoon. So we need to control the leaves so that we don't end up on the boat next door or if we're coming out and getting it slightly wrong, crashing into them at all. So there's several things we can do to make that easier. We can have our lines rigged on slips so that they're all removable from on board the boat. And if we've got a bow thruster, we can hold the bow in very gently in this scenario or we can put an engine ahead with the line on a slip ready to hold the boat against the pontoon like that. The key thing that when you want to leave is that you leave positively and, and that sounds a bit weird. We don't want speed around the marina but there's times when we need to drive the boat positively as opposed to just tickle it along. And when we come out of here the boat is immediately exposed to the wind in a greater force than when it was in the berth so we need to bear that in mind. So when we're ready to leave we can either bow thrust a bit and remove the bow line, come back onto the boat, keep the bow in with the bow thruster, slip the stern line and then as long as the boat has drifted off a fraction from the dock and the helm is straight, both ahead. And that will take the boat physically out. Now there is a danger that the bow will slide this way a little bit. So you need to be conscious that you don't let the boat rotate and catch on this corner. So it's a positive exit. If you're able to leave at a fraction of an angle, that's great. But if you dawdle out, what will happen is you will lose the bow on the wind and you will clonk the pontoon with the stern of the boat. So that's when we're leaving bow first. So we're ready to leave our blown across berth. Remember I said we have to leave moderately positively. We want to keep the boat moving. We don't want to dawdle. So my plan will be touch a bow thruster to starboard to hold the boat against the pontoon. I'll wave to Kieran to let the bow off. He'll chuck the bow line up. He'll walk down the side of the boat, step on board because we've got a slip line that we can release from on the boat. As soon as he gives me a shout but that's clear, then I can drive the boat out. Just got to be conscious of being blown on my neighbour. So I've got fenders on that side high, obviously fenders on the pontoon side low. Okay. Bow line comes up nicely and you see my bow's just held up on the wind there and I'm looking forward all the time. It's just starting to move. Tiny thrust again, just to keep the bow up. I don't mind it slipping a bit because that helps with getting the stern off. Okay, stern is now clear. And now I actually want that bow to move. It's just starting to move. Little click. Little click of again. And just as I stick the bow out, you'll see it start to go. There it goes. So now we're going to drive out positive. And I'm losing the bow. That's okay. But now, clear of the berth, I can steer. Steer the other way, round to port, start with the stern. So we're dragging the stern round. That's cool. And back round with the wheel, into the ahead. So we're just driving that bow round, just a tiny, tiny puff of revs, just to push the bow nicely up. And I'm dead centre in the aisle, really happy with that. That's nice and positive takes me nicely out and we've got control of the boat we're now back in our balanced angle left the pontoon nice and promptly when we're leaving stern first it's a similar process depending how long the dock is and you might be able to just hold the bow in slightly with the bow thruster removing your bow line or you can use the stern line quite taut and just push the boat against it when you're ready same process release both lines on slips and then positively drive the boat out. Now coming out stern first is often slightly easier because the wind doesn't tend to throw the stern around quite as quickly as the bow. So you'll find the whole boat will slide a little bit this way. When you get yourself out the key thing is to make it sure you get it reasonably stopped in the middle before you rotate. So you need to stop any 
a stern movement for this berth or in your head movement for this berth, rotate, get your bow well up to the wind and drive out. Now to leave with the wind blowing us off the berth, if there was no one next to us, life would be joyous. But because we've got a boat there, we've got to leave positively enough that we come out the berth without touching them. So it'll be similar, bow line off, maybe a touch of bow thruster to keep it in place, stern line off, back out. Now this time, as the stern comes out and gets swept by the wind, that's really good news because we'd like the stern to go downwind, then wheel over to starboard, drive ahead to push the bow up towards the wind, find our balance point and out we go. So we're ready to leave, give Kieran the nod, ready with the bow thruster, don't need to use it until the bow starts to move. We've got a wee bit of shelter from this boat next to us. Just starting to move now, so little thruster. Just so we're keeping it in. Here he comes, he's nicely on board. Line is coming off. Okay, and then I'm going to leave positively. So both for stern. One, two, three seconds of both for stern. And that's lifting the whole boat out the berth. Now naturally, the wind is catching that stern and pushing it downwind. That's great news. I can help that. Wheel to port, I click a starboard stern, and that takes me nicely out and gives me more room to play with. Wheel over to starboard, some port ahead, and depending how big your boat is, you might need a tickle of revs just to drive it up to the wind, but actually that's come around very nicely. And at this point, we're coming up to our balance point. All to neutral, catch the bow. Uh, nice little gust there, just to keep me on my toes. Nicely up on our balance point, all ready to just gently take her out. 